Hey guys, it's Madison. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing my fall skincare routine for you guys. I put on makeup so much and I share all these makeup tutorials. I thought that it would be nice to show you how I remove my makeup and how I cleanse my face at the end of the day. So if you want to see a in-depth skincare routine for the fall, keep on watching. So by the end of the day, my makeup is feeling pretty heavy and I am ready to take it off and let my skin breathe. So I just pull my hair back, put a headband on to make sure that my hair doesn't get drenched because I'm pretty messy when I wash my face. I don't know about you guys, but before I even wash my face or remove my makeup, I like to just rinse off my hands to remove any bacteria so I'm not carrying all these germs to my face, which could cause some breakouts and this girl doesn't want any breakouts on her face. So try to keep my face as clean as possible. To remove my makeup, I usually just use the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Towelettes. They work pretty well and I just always remove it with those. I don't typically use like a liquid makeup remover because I feel like that most of the time they're greasy and oily and I don't like that feeling on my skin so I prefer a makeup towelette. After I remove my makeup, I like to get my skin damp because I'm about to use a cleanser, so I want it to be nice and wet. So I am going to be using my Clarisonic Mia. And for the cleanser, I use the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. I've been using this recently. I actually got it recently as well, and I've really been loving it. It makes my skin feel so clean and tingly, which I really like. So I'm just cleansing my face with this. I feel like the Clarisonic makes my skin truly clean. It cleans out my pores and just really removes all of the extra makeup that my makeup remover did not get. So I just, I just put this thing all over my face and let it do its thing. So depending on the day um, and my mood, maybe I feel like I need a little bit of extra cleansing, I'll grab a little bit more of my Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser and just cleanse my face a little bit more, but I'll use my hands this time just to, you know, make it feel a little bit more cleaner and just add and get a little more cleansing in. So obviously you can't leave the facial cleanser on your face, so I'm just rinsing that off. This is the point at which my skin feels so refreshed and truly clean, and it just feels so nice. And I use the, I do use like pretty cold water. I feel like it just makes my skin feel even more fresh. So to dry it, I just use patting motions with a towel because I don't want to drag my skin around on a towel. And now I'm going to tone my face and I use the Clinique clarifying lotion. Toning your skin is going to remove any extra makeup or oil oils off of your skin so I really like to do this to remove anything extra that the cleanser nor my Clarisonic got off my skin so I love toning my skin as well it makes it feel so nice and tingly so for moisturizer I always use the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion I want my skin to be nice and plump and very moisturized I do have oily skin but it feels nice to have my skin nicely moisturized and very plump and healthy looking so I always moisturize if I can remember or two. I'm kind of bad at it, but when I do remember, it feels very good. And that completes it for my skincare routine. This skincare routine has been working great for me. It hasn't broken me out on my skin, which is amazing and pretty much all that I ask for, but my skin feels truly clean inside and out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. It would make my day. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!